Okay, so I'm doing something I've never done before. Pear jelly. I had a lady that makes jelly for a living. Tell me how to do it. Let me tell you how she said do it. You have to cut the stem off and you also have to cut that out with a melon scoop or paring knife or something. Be careful, you might don't cut yourself, but um, you have to take off that end because it'll make it bitter and take off that and then cut up the rest of it. So after doing that, I put it in this uh, stainless steel uh, stock pot, I guess it's called, and um, I'm bringing it up to a, a boil or a simmer Pears are, are pretty firm, they're pretty hard, and it's, it's kind of hard to mash them. She said she gets a potato masher and mashes them. I don't have a potato masher, so I've just been mashing them with a, a, a jar. And, you know, you can see some mash in there, but most of it is, uh, you know, still chunks. So I'm bringing it up to a, um, I don't know whether it'll be a rolling ball, but it'll be a simmer, which is pretty doggone close right now, I would think starting to kind of bubble a little bit simmer and then she says she cooks it for about 30 minutes any more than that she said it can also uh, make it get bitter i added enough water to just cover uh cover the pears that i put in there this is about uh 10 pounds of pears and um uh, eight to ten pounds and i i almost covered it with water but not quite we're gonna bring it up to a simmer and then I'm going to stir, stir, stir. Uh, not constantly, but you know, pretty often. And cook it for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna turn it off and we'll get back with you then. So I let it boil, I've cooked it for about 30 minutes and uh, then I've let it sit for a couple of hours. I want just as much of the juice to be extracted from the uh, pear pieces as possible to give the uh, jelly as much pear flavor as possible. So I'm gonna start straining it now. I'll go through a colander first and then a um, sieve or a screen and and then we'll just uh, see where we go from there. Okay, so I squeezed the pulp out through a little sieve or colander and here's what I came up with. Exactly eight cups, that's an eight cup pitcher, eight cups of juice on the peach jelly and it turned out just as clear as it could be i ran it through cheesecloth or in my case a pillowcase i didn't have cheesecloth after running it through a sieve i'm just not sure i want to go through the extra trouble of dirtying up a pillowcase and such and uh, to get it just clear as a bell so it's going to be a little cloudy maybe after it's uh, finished but that's what we came up with we're going to run it through there put it in the pot and start making some jelly now I've got, as I said, I've got eight cups of juice. I only need four cups for a run. I'm not going to run two runs at a time. When you do that, your jelly will not gel. So I will use four cups of this, screen it, and then make a run of jelly. So I've got the pear juice and the sure gel, package of sure gel in here. I am stirring it almost constantly. I have got five cups of sugar waiting. As soon as this comes up to temperature, I'm gonna pour the sugar in. I did put just a little bit of butter in here. I think it's a half a teaspoon or something like that of butter and some lemon juice, about a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. The butter is to keep it from foaming. And it's just about to come to a boil. You want it to come to a rolling boil, which means it is, uh, even when you're stirring it, it's boiling. You let it boil for one minute like this. Okay, I do not have my tripod, so I'm gonna have to put this down as I put the sugar in and stir it in. So I've got the sugar in there, and it's starting to actually clear up some. I thought it was gonna be a lot more cloudy than this. Looking pretty nice. I will continue to stir until it comes up to a rolling boil. 
So I've got it in here, got a rolling boil going on, sugar, everything's in here. Four cups of pear juice, five cups of sugar. And this is a full rolling boil. And I'm gonna let it go until my timer goes off. One minute after it comes to this kind of boil, after you put the sugar in. All right, there we go. All right, now it's time to ladle them up in jars. So I got them ladled in the jars. I didn't have enough jelly jars. These I believe are eight ounce jelly jars and these are pint jars. So I've got four eight ounce jars and two pints. So uh, just kind of figure on that for your batch. Again, about 10 pounds of pears is gonna make two batches. Now, what I was wanting to do was run one batch, taste it, and see if it was worth running the second batch. Because when I, when I originally tasted the, the um, juice, just the juice, just the pears as they were boiling, once they got through boiling, I tasted the juice and you no, know, it tasted like pears, but it really wasn't, it just didn't, I thought, man, that's just not gonna be all that great. But you put some sugar gel, some sugar and some lemon juice and some butter in it. And I'm telling you what, this is good stuff. So. You might want to do this. Pears are everywhere. Your neighbor's got a pear tree probably. Go get it some. So I'm going to do these. Uh, I'm going to do another run. Leave these here. I'm going to process them all at the same time. You, can, you can't make jelly all at once. Sure gel and all that stuff. I'll do one run at a time. But once you get it into jars, then you can process more than one run. You can process two or three runs. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, get, uh, get all this done. I'll show you as I'm... I'll show you when I get the other uh, jars done. Now, if you haven't seen my video about making peach jelly out of peach peelings and pits, let me tell you something. That's some of the best jelly I've ever put in my mouth. Uh, I'll put a link after this video. I'll put a link to that video. I'll put it right about there right about now, but you don't want to go away right now, do you? We're fixing to finish this up. Well, I've got it in the uh, canner processing it. I guess we'll just do a little peek. I've got, they're about to start boiling, and when they do, I'll go 10 minutes processing time. And I've got five, just, just to let you know, about 10 pounds of pears did, and two, you know, two packages of sure gel, two runs of sure gel and, and two runs of jelly, did five pints and five jelly jars. I'm not sure, I would say those are eight, eight ounce jelly jars, but I'm really not sure, but five pint jars and five jelly jars is what I got out of two runs of, uh, of pears, about eight to 10 pounds of pears. So that'll let you know um, what to look for or how to plan if you wanna make this. And uh, I'll bring you back when they come out, I'll put them out on the counter. Well, here they are on the counter. They are pretty. They're not quite as clear as the peach was, but then again, I put the peach through a strainer strainer. Um, pillowcase she cheesecloth type operation but I tell you what it's pretty doggone clear and they just came out and they're already starting to ping I think maybe all of them have so that's boy they look good and I tell you what it really really tastes good so you may want to give it a shot pear jelly not pear preserves pear jelly but anyway that's it looks good uh, try you some pear jelly. You may want to make pear preserves, which is just cutting up uh, pears into little giblets and doing the same thing. But uh, I did, I like jelly better. So this is my jelly. I have jelly just about every morning with my bacon and eggs and toast. And I like it. All right, now I got another jelly to put on them. I've been putting that peach jelly on them. Now I got some pear. All right, that's it. I've been busy. We're gone.